Hello everybody, my name is Citrus, and as you can see, things are a little bit different. I know, I got a haircut, it's not a big deal. For real though, we can talk more about this towards the end of the video, because right now, we got some juicy things to talk about. So about a week ago, Nintendo released their Corporate Management Policy Briefing, which is a sentence that can turn anyone on. There was actually some pretty interesting information in there. For instance, this graphic showing the average age demographic of Switch users. Show this to anyone who says that Nintendo is only for babies. It may not stop the oncoming wedgie that you're about to receive, but hey, you made your point. The big thing that got people talking, however, was this graphic. Hold on to your seats, folks. Nintendo is releasing a new console in 20XX, or 20 cross cross if you're a PlayStation player, or 20 key key if you're a degenerate. Okay, obviously that's just a placeholder year, they're not actually gonna release something in the year 20XX, and it's also not really that surprising that Nintendo would make another console. They just sold 90 million of these things, you think they're just gonna stop there and be like, you know what? I think we've made a good amount of money. Even if it's super obvious and we all kind of knew this information already, it's still kind of fun to hear about the future officially from Nintendo, but it's also brought up some scary thoughts. A little after the briefing, Nintendo Life published this article talking about the idea of Nintendo dropping the Switch concept for their next console. As in, their next console would not be a hybrid. It would have some other new gimmick. It sounds kind of stupid when you look at how insanely successful the Switch is, as well as the universal love for the switching mechanic, but then you remember that this is Nintendo we're talking about, and Jesus Christ, this could really happen. Nintendo is notoriously difficult to predict when it comes to this stuff, and weighing the pros and cons of each option makes things even more convoluted. Like, if they stay with the Switch concept, it's obviously proven itself with the public. Everyone knows what a Switch is, and everyone likes it. However, just making a more powerful Switch could be uninteresting to the general audience. It may be hard to convince people who already own a Switch to buy the new one when the old Switch plays Mario Kart just fine. I also imagine Nintendo has some PTSD from the Wii U generation, so they might be hesitant to do a sort of sequel console like that again. On the other hand, a brand new console that doesn't take anything from the Switch wouldn't have these issues. It would be completely new to everyone, and it could wow everyone with its new gimmick. This obviously has its own issues as well. It wouldn't be a guaranteed success like the Switch, and it would be judged pretty harshly against against the Switch. Nintendo took a huge, gigantic gamble when it came to the Switch by combining their home console and handheld market into one device. The only reason Nintendo survived the Wii U generation was the 3DS. By combining their handheld and home console market, it would either merge those two markets together or incidentally tank one of them in the process. Clearly, it worked out for them, but it also puts them in a bit of an awkward position going forward. Now that we've all had a taste of the hybrid nature of the Switch, it would be pretty hard to go back to having separate home consoles and handhelds. Even if the new console looks good, I think most people would go, why isn't this a hybrid? The only scenario I see this working out for them is if they have PS5 level graphics on the thing. And even then, it would probably be super expensive, which kind of goes against Nintendo's whole thing of being cheap fun for everyone. Well, I say cheap, but they charge an arm and a leg for a 10 year old Wii game. At least in the console market, they're the cheaper alternatives to something like an Xbox or a PlayStation. Now, do I think they're gonna drop the Switch concept? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say, but the Switch is such a runaway success. I have a hard time seeing them dropping it completely. If I were Nintendo, I would take a more PS5 approach to this, make it more powerful, add a gimmick like an AR camera or something, and the two most important things, give it a unique look and don't call it something stupid. The Wii U generation flopped hard and it was because general audiences didn't even know what the thing was. Wii U doesn't really sound like the next Wii, it sounds like an accessory like the Wii balance board. And seeing commercials of people playing the Wii U and holding the tablet, it just looked like an accessory. The next Switch needs a name that everyone will understand what it means, that this is the next Switch, not a revision or a half upgrade like the PS4 Pro. The Switch 2 isn't a great name, but it gets the point across. As for the design thing, I just think that having a Switch that looks visually different from the old Switch 
would be a lot easier to market than something that looks exactly the same, because again, you'd have people saying, isn't that the same thing? And add AR or something, because that's just what Nintendo likes to do. It makes for a fun bullet point on the back of the box. With all that said though, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, whether you think Nintendo is going to stick with the Switch, if you think they're going to try something entirely new and drop it in completely, and we're all sad because we can't play our funny Nintendo games on the go. Let me know all your thoughts down below. And again, thank you guys for watching today's video. Drop the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And now it's time to talk about this. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have dabbled in some VTuber type stuff in the past. I've had little character avatars and I actually made a little VTuber rig thing with some Adobe program a while ago. Um, but now I'm here. Yeah, actually doing this in like the VTuber studio or whatever. It's pretty fun. I don't know. I thought that it was like a fun idea. Um, it would make for a cool um, way to move on into the future with the channel. I don't know, I think it's kind of fun. I like my little VTuber character. He's pretty basic right now. I don't even have actual mouth things. I just have two faces, or three, I guess. Now I'm sad, and now I'm happy, and now I'm sad, and now I'm happy. Anyways, just let me know if you guys like this. I feel like it's a fun aesthetic to go forward with for the channel because I like cartoons, I like drawing, and so I thought I would merge that more with the channel. Um, but if you don't like it, if you want me to go back to just having actually me in the videos, uh, please let me know. Oh, and like reactions and stuff and anything that would like be benefited by having an actual camera, I'm still gonna do that stuff. I'm not gonna like switch over to this entirely. You know, like you all know what I look like. This isn't about hiding my identity. This is just something that I thought would be kind of fun. With all that said, Again, thank you guys for dropping this video. Like, like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you all later. Peace. I should really add like an actual peace sign thing to this. I'll, I'll work on that.